Why do you grade 12s? What a privilege it is to zoom in on the requirements for your working drawings. And we're going to be looking specifically at the floor plan. Now, I'm on page 13 in your PAD document. 5.1 here states that we need to draw detailed layout drawings of the selected freehand solutions of the complete building, including a three meter section of the extended undercover walkway to the existing buildings, clearly showing all the required building features. Okay, that's just an overview of the layout drawings. All of these, in other words, must comply and include a three meter section of that extended undercover walkway, which you guys have designed, um, that actually extends to the existing buildings. Okay, but you just need to do about a three meter section of that. You're gonna have a break line to show the end of that. Right, in 5.1.1, the first, drawing in this working drawings and this is going to be on that page that you've prepared with the full civil title panel that I showed you in the previous video. You're going to draw the complete floor plan. Drawn to a suitable scale but preferably not smaller than 1 to 75. Now if you have a look at that I'm sure you're going to be fitting in with your site plan at around about 1 to 50. 1 to 75 or even 1 to 100. I think 1 to 100 would still be acceptable. So depending on your size, I would actually think 1 to 100 would work for most of you. All right. This paragraph, of course, goes with your checklist right here at the end. And these are the different points or the requirements to which we will be giving marks. Now, if you look at this floor plan, the first one where you can get two marks, does your design, your actual working drawing of that floor plan correlate with the selected freehand solution and selection process? In other words, your floor plan, have you drawn what you designed and what you've selected? If you've done and complies, two marks. Have you shown all the internal and external walls? Make sure these internal walls will be 110, the external walls will be 220 millimeters. Your walkway, have you shown that three meter extension? And of course the width uh, of that walkway needs to be correct. And have you included roof lines? If you've done all internal walls, all external walls, the walkway is indicated plus the roof lines, you're gonna get two. Have you included all doors, that's the exterior and interior doors, as well as windows with window sills? Two marks. All your permanent fixtures, including the bookshelves, the built-in bookshelves, all right? They are permanent, not the movable furniture. We're not talking here about bookshelves that can be moved or tables, chairs. It's permanent fixtures, built-in cupboards, computer stations, all of that that is permanent. This also includes, of course, your basins, your um, stove tops, etc. That's also part of permanent fixtures. If you've done all of them, two marks. Electrical fittings and wiring detail. This is one that... Uh, I'm going to show you great examples of at the end of this video. Wiring detail, two out of two. Your water disposal system, the sewer. Have you shown the inspection eyes, the rotting eyes? All of that shown. I'll give you examples. Two marks. The title. Is the title correct? Have you showed labels and notes? I'll give you examples of this also in this video. And detailed dimensions. Again, that's all the way to four marks. Hatching detail, cutting plane, and a lot of kids miss this. But have you hatched your walls correctly? Do you have your cutting planes? And this cutting pl plane points to your sectional elevation that we'll do in the next the second or third video from now. Did you use suitable scale and correctly indicated? Okay. And is there a north point? So make sure you check this, uh, use this as a checklist for you to get to your total of 10 marks. Let's look at some of the things that I mentioned here. Okay, the first thing that they've mentioned in that checklist is labels and notes. Now I'm going to have this document as a download in your uh, description. When they're talking about labels, they're talking about this kind of add-ons to your drawing, just with an arrow explaining to you different parts of this. So you could, for instance, have a label for your roll-up serving hatch. All right. That's clearly indicated with a label. You can label barge board, gutters. Of course, this is now on the elevations. Um, you can also use notes. So these are the differences. Notes, these go on the side of a drawing or sometimes in your title panel. And it gives clear detail 
on different aspects of the building material. Okay, so that's notes. Notes is for indication of building materials, sizes, etc. Where labels are used to just clearly identify different parts. For instance, this space here is indicated as a garage opening. Okay, just to bring clarity. So labels brings clarity and notes brings information. Okay, you can also see here, this is one or two examples of actual floor plans. Now, of course, this is not the same design that you did. These are previous year's works, but I'm just highlighting one or two things that they look at. Okay, so we have, let's start in this area here. We have our windows with the windowsill. We've got the correct hatching. You can clearly see the thickness of the inner wall is different from the outer wall. Your dimensions is done correctly. In other words, you start with the shorter distances first and the longer distances on the outside. Make sure you're doing these, of course, in millimeters and they're clearly defined with your measurement lines and neatly spaced in the middle you can't see it maybe but there's actually a three millimeter lines construction lines drawn to make sure that that text is neatly done all right then in this the fixtures in this case it i think was a basin your built-in cupboards they are clearly shown on your floor plans then your electrical wiring clearly shown also with its labels okay um, make sure here was a correction by the moderator for this specific drawing that the correct placement of that wire is from the circle for instance to the light it's not from the switch so make sure that those little bit of details you get correct also in your design you've got your doors with its door frames door numbers again that's a label um, you could add window numbers of course and then your roof line here you can see the roof line running on this floor plan clearly shown. I'm going to just move it on a little bit to the bottom here where it shows the sewer as well. So out of, for instance, your toilets, you have your sewer line with its inspection eye um, out of each one of them. And this is going to be, of course, very, very familiar for most of you. At the end of the sewer line, we need the RE, which is your rotting eye. Okay. And your inspection eyes and they've made this brown also as that is the correct color for your sewer okay there's nothing another rotting eye and you're going to go all the way here in this case it was towards a septic tank okay um, one other thing here let's uh, just zoom in on this part here if you're doing an external wall light okay the correct way of indicating that and i'll just do it here maybe is you need to have that back plate and then the actual light. Don't just draw the X to, have, to show that light. That, that's not the correct symbol. That's going to be marked wrong. It has to have the back, back plate that you use to fasten it onto the wall. So make sure you do have your lights that comes out on this outside for the walkway, for instance, that you have the correct light used there. And then again, your wiring, of course. Okay, that's one example. Okay, so here on the side in the in the actual title block there's those references to give some more detail on the actual doors that was used for instance the label and the notes that you can see there's the notes and you have your schedules also all right next one okay here's another example of uh, previous year's work uh, on this one you'll clearly have your north arrow please don't forget that you have your revisions again you've got your notes here on the top top hand side and then on this you have labels the different room designations the finishing of the floors the square meters of the floors again clearly the roof lines are visible okay so a lot that you can take from these drawings you have to absolutely come up with your own floor plans in the end but learn from these previous examples make sure that you comply with suns so the next video we will look at the two elevations. Thank you for watching. Cheers.